thought today would be really interesting to take you guys along with me throughout my pre and my post workout routine while also giving you guys a little sneak peek of today's lane day. So let's get it. Hey you guys, welcome back to the YouTube. It's your girl, Kayla Lachey, AKA your virtual fitness bestie. Today we're getting into pre and post gym workout routine. If you're like me and you're such a creature of habit, maybe your routine is the same all the time. And I noticed that I have these tendencies and these habits that I do to get me motivated to go to the gym and really just take care of myself. I think more importantly, like after my workouts. So today is a leg day, which honestly is my favorite day of the week. Hydration gang, yeah. Um, for the gym, I take one of these like liter bottles because it has electrolytes and I just don't like having a gym water bottle and then my normal regular water bottle. So these just work out great for me for the gym and it's a great way for me to track how much water I'm taking. Um, throughout my sessions and then I always have a Stanley just in the car whenever I'm running errands just to keep up with my hydration For my commute, which is a little bit longer than your average person So it's just nice to always have water on you when you're working out so hard, bro And it's hot outside already. Some gyms don't have AC, but you need to replenish your body Especially if you also like to get into the sauna like myself I tend to run out of this by the time my sauna session is completed and my cardio and all that so get your water together get a water bottle that you like stick to it whatever works for you I'm also a gym girly that cannot live without pre-workout I just don't understand how the girls go in there raw doggy it like I cannot be that girl like if you don't go to the gym with headphones and you don't take pre-workout how houseway how so could not be me so oxy shred is always my go-to i'm a big fan of oxy shred i've been taking it since like 2020 yeah since the start of my fitness journey and they came out with these in the can which is even better for the lazy girls like myself if you can't be bothered to mix up powders and clean shaker bottles and you just want to be in and out the oxy shred ultra energies are fantastic there's no sugar i never get like anxiety from them they have a slight bit of carbonation, which to me tastes really refreshing. And they have a bunch of flavors to choose from. I'm really obsessed with the slime flavor, as you guys know. So this has been my go-to. And they also are very low in calories. So if you're trying to watch, you know, your cows because you're cutting or whatever, this is great. Not only that, but it also has L-carnitine, which is a fat burner. So it really helps me sweat throughout my workouts. You guys will see, like, I get super sweaty. I'll start with, like, cardio on a little bit of an incline, dripping sweat. In the sauna, dripping sweat. In between my leg day sets, dripping sweat. And I just love to sweat. So definitely recommend this if you're looking for a clean uh, pre-workout that doesn't make you feel like your skin's on fire and itching and giving you stress and anxiety <laughs> so this will be linked down below and I want to say that it has 180 milligrams of caffeine in here which I think is really good like it, it's enough energy for me to feel energized without feeling like I'm gonna crash at the end of my session so I love these a lot it's very 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 good I don't know where I read that it feels like 250 milligrams but it's only 180 I think that's what it is correct me if I'm wrong so yeah we're gonna have this for pre-workout not just yet because the commute is a drive so I have to get to a certain exit before I can open that up otherwise by the time I get to the gym my energy is gonna be like gone I also don't eat like breakfast I have a snack I can't work out personally with a lot of food in my stomach and I don't have the biggest appetite when I wake up in the morning. So for me, I just rather have something carby. I go through phases of that thing that I'm really into. Previously it was bagels with cream cheese, uh, croissants, and then pumpkin bread. Now we've moved on to these big bars which are really convenient to keep in your car if you're also on the go and it's a great way just to mindlessly have something to eat and stay on track and know like okay I know I'm gonna have this I don't have to stop anywhere I don't have to worry about do I have groceries like this is just such a good way to always be kind of prepared I always like to have like two so there's like two in each thing which might not sound like a lot but again I don't have the biggest appetite and I don't like to have 
a whole lot of food swishing around while I'm jumping around the gym. So 200 calories in each one. Sometimes I'll have three, sometimes I'll have four like pieces. Just depends on how hungry I am in the morning time. And then if I have any leftover, I usually snack on it on my way home. So these are just great. It has a little bit of sugar from the fig and then the carbs as well from like that Newton. So these have been my obsession in the raspberry. So I'll link these below. And I think this box has like, girl, how many? 18? That's it. I thought there was at least 20. The gym is the club in your 30s, okay? I have put the pieces together. That is why I love it so much. It's dark. It's dim lighting. You know, people around my age. It's kind of social if you want it to be. The music is blasting and it's always popping. It is the club. So I like to kind of pregame for the gym which aka is the club your lift okay it should be enjoyable anyway you should love the get ready process whether it be doing your makeup doing your hair a certain way putting on a really cute outfit that you love your favorite sneakers for me it's the music you know we pregame with our shots hello oxy shred and then your music right so for me i like to listen to not my gym playlist because if i listen to my gym playlist on the way to the gym it's not going to hit the same when i restart it in the gym so i like to listen to something like kind of hype but not super hype because we save that for the lifts so that tends to be like hip-hop or something kendrick lamar you know j cole whatever it might be i have a playlist my driving playlist that really just gets me excited for my workout so i definitely encourage you guys if you are lost with motivation maybe update your playlist if you notice specifically that you're going through and you're skipping every song every time it's time to revamp the playlist baby it's summertime so throw in all those summer bangers that you like and everyone's music taste is so different if i'm ever in a rut with my music i'll go through like spotify's pre-made playlist or like the new releases that come out every Friday and then I'll just add songs that way that I really like and then I'll go through and delete older songs that I'm just over that don't motivate me at all so maybe it's time for you to update your playlist and that could be such an easy fix for you to really just enjoy your workout that much more I do have a Spotify so I'll link it down below if you're looking for music inspo now look my music taste is all over the place it's literally all types of genres from aggressive bass and trap music to hip hop to pop to majestic sounds like R&B, soul. Always, always, always plan your workout. What are you targeting today? What exercises are you going to do for your workout? And when you walk into the gym, sometimes it can be kind of overwhelming, not knowing, oh, what are we gonna do today? What's the plan? Instead, you can walk in with your plan, kind of scope out what machines are open and available and what you're going to hit first if something is taken that you have plans to do. So it just allows you to kind of feel less pressure, less stress and less anxiety in the gym when you're kind of prepared i don't really follow workout plans or workout apps or programs this is something that i've been asked before i go to the gym simply for fun because i enjoy it i enjoy doing what it is that i want to do and i've been working out for a while now enough to know what i should be doing to target lower body and to get glute growth which is one of my priorities so I tend to do a lot of lower body focus exercises and create a split around that while also incorporating upper body days cardio and abs just to overall look fit and toned and to be healthy and to feel my best so I just like to create my own plans that's just something personally that motivates me that has always motivated me and I like to create challenges for myself as well and I like to work on things like progressive overload to work on my strength and to be more powerful in my lifts and maybe I'll have times when I want to deload and do lighter weights with maybe more reps or maybe I want to focus more that week on upper body because I'm enjoying more upper body workouts or maybe I'm just super sore on lower body days so I'll go to the gym just to do cardio and sauna it just really depends on how I'm feeling what my goals are and if I want to go to the gym just to have fun or do I want to go to the gym to really like have like focused periods of a split where I'm like really trying to lose weight or 
burn more fat gain more muscle whatever it might be whatever your goals are like apply that to your situation but that's what motivates me is just looking at the gym as something enjoyable as a hobby that's super fun for me and that way i never really fall off and feel like oh i don't want to go to the gym because most days it's like oh i can't wait to go to the gym and i love that feeling so much so if you're doing something that you don't like it's so easy for you to not want to get into it and stay consistent and at the end of the day like consistency is what is going to make you get those results that we're all looking for whatever that is for you so make it fun and figure out what that fun thing is and what you're missing that could make it better for you and i think that'll bring you a lot of motivation on your own journey so with that being said i'm gonna head out and we're gonna hit legs like i said and i am so excited to get into it and then we're gonna come home and get into my post gym routine because I'm just, I'm excited to eat <laughs> today, honestly. What's happening? I only think about you. This is crazy. Hello, motherfucker. Hey, how you doing? I thought I would never get to the gym, but we made it to the club, you guys. We made it to the club. Yeah, I've showed you guys so many leg days. If you are interested in full blown routines, check the cards. Cause most of the time like literally i've been vlogging a lot especially this month i'm so routine i do the same routines the same basic staple exercises and stay to the basics it works it actually works so we're gonna get into it i do have to say though like the way that oxy shred boosts my mood i was not feeling like this this morning when i first picked up the vlog i was like okay guys we're going to the gym now i'm like actually ready like if you need like to have motivation with no going back get some oxy shred please it is like the best pre-workout energy wise that i've ever had compared to any other pre-workout that i have ever had and i struggle with gym anxiety sometimes also tip if you also struggle with gym anxiety for some reason i don't know if this is just a me thing or if this is like an actual thing but i feel less overwhelmed when i walk into the gym with my headphones on and music i don't even have to play music if my headphones are on there's something calming about it because you never really know what the gym is going to look like when you step into the freaking gym right it could be super packed it could be very overwhelming over stimulating at first a little stressful seeking out what's available where you're going to start your session right so for some reason having my headphones on when i'm walking into the gym is an instant like confident booster and i don't know why anyone else like that please let me know i'm very interested to know <laughs>
aqua collagen from ehp labs the easiest 20 grams of protein you will literally ever get tastes like juice pineapple is the best flavor yes they restocked all the flavors over at ehp so definitely check this out if you struggle to get your protein goal and hit your intake by the end of the day like me ain't no way i'd hit my protein if i didn't have this 20 grams so we love that it definitely helps me replenish my electrolytes and just to rehydrate after lifting so heavy in the gym and then also it has the collagen benefits for skin longer hair stronger nails and most importantly it's dairy free i'm dairy free so we love that so i'm gonna do two scoops to get my 20 grams and then i'm gonna also have a post-workout meal because i have food in here um where's my salad I don't know, is this good? Yes, it is good. Gotta stay ready, guys. Meal prep is the hack to get motivated and to stay consistent. Um, do I have a salad dressing? Hmm. I don't know that I have. Oh, that should be good. Make a little salad, just a little something. Maybe I'll get back into the phase of my thick smoothies with like fruit and milk and banana and sunflower butter. Ooh, that's gonna make a mess, but I can't do it, especially now that it's hot. I just want something refreshing. So we're gonna do this. Like I said, easiest 20 grams of protein that I'll ever get in my day. I wish I could drink two of those. I probably could have two a day. Girl, that'd be 40 grams of protein. Life hack. <laughs> I need to put a new battery in here because it just does not whisk as good as it used to. Yeah, so I just got in the habit of having this after the gym because honestly, I look forward to it the most. And like I said, you definitely want to get your protein in. And it took me about an hour to get home, so I haven't really eaten much besides my pre-workout snack. It literally tastes like pineapple juice. Fresh pineapple juice, not like artificial. 
So we're gonna sip on that. I'm gonna chalk that in my fitness palette I've been logging my food. Yo, I made a mess. That powder went all over the silverware. My mom gonna kick my butt. Oh my lord. And just for my meal, I had leftover salad mix from Trader Joe's. This is literally just the vegetable part, no dressing, no crunchy toppings. So I think it's mostly cabbage. Oh girl, this is the last day I have to eat this. So if you can plan your meals ahead of time, meal prep, because the last thing I want to do, I don't know about you guys, is think about what I'm going to cook, dealing with raw meat, chopping stuff, cleaning the kitchen. Like, that workout took all of my energy, and you're telling me I have to come home and prep a whole meal and clean up, and all that is doing a lot. So meal prep, even just for a day or two days, can really save a lot of time and help keep you consistent with eating good at home instead of just stopping somewhere on the way home or ordering Uber Eats. This was um, a Just Bear spicy chicken filet. It's about 22 grams of protein. So I'm gonna heat this up and then chop it up and put that on my salad. And I actually have some leftover, um, ooh, do I wanna eat that later? I might make breakfast for dinner. <laughs> I have some black beans in there. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like the what I eat in a day is, and I can definitely do some more of those for you guys, especially since I've been switching up my meals recently. And then this dressing, I don't know if this is gonna go. I just need a little something. This is just a Greek style dressing that I like. I'm not gonna track this um, cabbage because it's just vegetables, but I definitely wanna look at my protein intake. And I'll log some of this because this is about 100 calories. This was good because <laughs> I had made it in the oven last night. It was so crispy and now it's just like leftovers. But hey, protein is protein. So I'm gonna add that to my little salad. Not the most exciting thing, but hey, we're getting some protein and a little fat and then also our veggies and more protein here as well, so. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. Can I please get that out of my head? I'm gonna look at my fitness pal today. I did not log what I was eating but I will quickly go ahead and log that right now. So for my protein for the day is 44 grams. And you know what, baby? I will take the 44 grams. Hopefully this is good. Should I take a... Yo, why is this so dark in color? It did not used to be this dark. It used to be like a pale yellow. It tastes the same, but the color is throwing me off. <laughs> I don't put ice in it, but you could put ice in it. Don't do it. Baby, I will drizzy. <laughs> Let's see if this concoction is good. <sighs> I'm just looking forward to taking a shower. I don't know about y'all, but like my favorite part of coming back from the gym is that post-gym shower. And I do have a gym girl hygiene routine. So if you guys want to know like all my favorite products, how I wash my hair, all that stuff for good hygiene when you're around sweat and all that definitely go watch that video mm. not bad that dressing is so good this is the best stuff it's so good like i could not find this when i lived in la i would literally have my dad mail me some because i just could not find it and it was way overpriced on amazon You can put it in wraps. Mm, definitely try to meal prep, guys. That's my biggest tip for you. And find little ways to sneak in some extra protein. If you're slacking. I feel like protein, honestly, is the hardest part when you're trying to build muscle. Even if you're trying to lose weight, like you still want to eat a lot of protein. It's just so hard, especially if you're like me and you don't like to eat a whole lot of meat. Like, I don't, I guess it's easier if you do like to eat like turkey and beef and chicken and eggs in every meal, but I can't do it. Like, I can, I'd be happy with one meal a day with just like a protein, like an animal protein. Cause most of the time I just want like 
I guess I could do eggs, like egg ramen. That's been my favorite right now, honestly. Um, like more plant-based meals, I don't know. That's why I started introducing eggs back in my diet because I just did not want meat all the time. You just gotta do what works for you. I was a little shower, I wanna go to sleep. I'm about to put on one of my new sweatsets after I get out of the shower. Y'all, look at this color. Miss Sunray Yellow. If it'll focus, it's too beautiful, does it want to? Gymshark just launched, finally, the Everywhere Collection in these beautiful bright colors. There's a sneak peek of the items that I picked up. I'm still waiting for the rest of my order to arrive. I actually got the shipping today. So after I get out of the shower, we're putting on the sweats and the hoodie. And I cannot wait because we love a good sweat set post gym. Also, I did legs in these shoes for the first time today and I really liked it. I just didn't tie them as tight because if I do, maybe my bones be squeezing me. So I'll link my gym shoes down below. I really liked doing my hamstring workouts in these, specifically my good mornings. I just felt really stable, even with my squats. Like these were really good. And they were also really comfortable for my split squats when I had my foot up on the bench. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for some other colorways. They're maybe like $120, which isn't too bad for like a sneaker. Baby, you know, hip hop is really petty. <laughs> Why? Why are they gonna do Aubrey like that? And also, can we just talk about how J. Cole just flipped that Uno reverse card? He said, I don't want no parts. I'm sorry, forgive me, because I'm out of here. <laughs> he was not playing. He was not playing. So, I always take my stuff out of my gym bag. Um, ah, damn. I love my purse in the car. <sighs> is yellow my color? Because I think it is my color. Cozy vibes, you guys. I'm gonna get in the bed and start editing this video, and I will see you guys in my next one very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're about that gym girl life, and or if you need a gym girl bestie, because baby, I got you, and I'm gonna catch you. Bye!